has changed some these past years. Walk about when you have the chance. You will see for yourself. To me, place always seems straight out of a fairy tale. Knights errant, elven palaces. Can't get used to the way you knights talk, especially how you switch back and forth between flowery and well, you know. I'm sorry. The service of a gracious magnificence will be appear in her name or speak on her behalf. We are bound by tradition. Geralt, we must talk. If you, you shall talk later in the medic's tent. Geralt, magnificent, breathtaking. Your grace. We knew that to summon you was a brilliant idea. We are delighted, raffish, to have struck upon you. And I'm truly... Uh, honored. See to our young hero. Hop, hop. For we must make off with Geralt. We should talk. We had been long awaiting you. Had nearly lost hope. Then suddenly, that entrance, so spectacular. Your oh, grace, my contract. I'd like to discuss it. Naturally, but not here. Duchess hired me. You've been murdering her subjects. <laughs> Agreed to meet a vampire at a cemetery. How much more cliche can you get? <laughs> Nothing comes readily to mind. Could have left the door unlatched. What of my privacy? to die and be reborn as I was, in your new life would you choose to be a witcher? That's what interests you most? Whether I'd like to be a witcher again? Many things interest me, but we've not much time left. Please answer. Never chose to be a witcher. Fate chose for me. Had it been my choice, I'd have picked a different profession. 
A profession where I wouldn't have to risk my life every minute of every day. Maybe even one that had earned me some respect. Thank you for being honest. Honesty is an attribute of the truly brave, and thus a privilege of the very few. Ever vigilant, even in his sleep. Quite vampire-like, in fact. Are you absolutely certain they don't administer a few of our genes during the trial of the grasses? My dear Geralt. I hope all is well. I imagine you hot on the trail of some nasty monster. Or is it an overly complex curse this time? Oh, Geralt, I wish I knew for certain. Whatever is keeping me busy, perhaps we'll need a break. For those moments, I offer you this intriguing little mystery I happened on in an old manuscript I bought of a merchant from Nazaire. The tome's author claims a certain Professor Moreau, once called Beauclair Home, and this professor conducted research into witcher mutations. I don't know much else, but I suspect that alone might pique your interest. The tome mentioned a journal interred with the scholar when he passed. It could very well lead you to his laboratory. I'm enclosing a map I found folded in the tome. It's smudged in a few places, but I hope it proves useful anyway. Please be careful and come back to me quickly. Your Triss. Hmm. The professor who studied Witcher mutations might actually be worth looking into.
hurt you. Eat. I, I must eat. I'll take you someplace safe. I do not know how I will ever repay you, Witcher. Don't expect to be paid. Hope you're feeling better, that's all. Oh, yes, I feel my strength returning thanks chiefly to Barnabas Basil's care. Horrible ordeal you endured. Glad I cut it short. You are a man right and honorable, devoted to doing good, and for these reasons you receive the blade. Now bear it. And I trust this time you shall not lose it. Let's go! 
Yeah? What is it? Now, why does one summon a witch up? To inquire about the gossip currently flowing about the court? I have a problem with a beast. Right. All ears then. Tell me about the monster. Ah, ah, ah. First, my dear witcher, we must establish ground rules. Given the vast difference in our respective social positions, I'm sorry to say I take on bridge at the familiar tone you take. I expect deference. I expect you to address me as Sir, or better yet, as Monsieur de Bourbon. Listen, friend. There's an enormous difference between us, but it's not about status. It's about me having two swords on my back, and you having none. So I'll call you whatever I want, and you either deal with that or solve your monster problem yourself. You're awake. Had me worried. You were out way too long. Even considered giving you some white honey. Kinda hard to do with hooves, though. Roach. Hey, you know how you always show up when I whistle? How's that work exactly? Well, you're my human. Gotta be there when you need me. Yes, I'll be there for you, ooh, ooh, as the world falls down. Still kind of strange that you cross the ocean when I call sometimes, but then get hung up on the tiniest fence. What's that about? Uh, what can I say? Everyone's got limits. Listen, got this contract I need to finish before the brew wears off. Right. Monster won't slay itself. Let me see. First up, I need to know what we're dealing with. Follow me, and try not to trample any plants or small animals.
band of a thousand fables. Incredible. Hmm. Let's see where this road takes me.
I'm sorry, dear sister. Can you forgive me? In the flesh. I, I thought you were in Kavir. I got tired of waiting for you, so I decided to head to Tucson. Catch some sun, see how things are going. You said it would only take a moment. Things are pretty much wrapped up, luckily. We'll be able to head north soon. I hope you're not upset I came like this, without warning. True, I haven't always been fond of surprises. They remind me of work, the law of surprise, surprise child. But I think I've changed my mind. Seems surprises can actually be pleasant. Very pleasant. Let's go outside. There's this one cozy spot you're gonna love. Rising to a, a startling finish, don't you think? Not much of a connoisseur. Then it is high time you started your education. After all, the Corvo Bianco vineyard is now yours. By the way, I left a gift for you in your new home, on the nightstand. <laughs> Thanks. Mind telling me what it is? Ugh, a trifle. That will nonetheless be useful should you need mutagens. Incidentally, have you thought about what you'll do with your prize? Shall you hang your swords over the mantel and take to pruning vines? Know what? I think I just might. Come on now, don't laugh. Maybe not today or tomorrow. But one day I'll want to see what it's like to just wake up every day in my own bed. Oh, stop, please. Sounds so sentimental my fangs have begun to hurt. Then what? you begin writing your memoirs like Dandelion? <sighs> I so don't feel like going anywhere. Sit here a while longer. So we shall, my friend. We have witnessed, and in fact on several occasions incited, many great and weighty events. After all that toil, I believe we deserve a bit of a rest. That we do. 